Hi there, welcome you to the nature which inspires you, motivates you, give you a lot of oxygen to make every cells of your body very fresh and give you a lot of information how you can adorn yourself, appreciate yourself, strengthen your thought by lifting up to a different level by self-discipline, self-control and balanced mind. And you have really understood the laws of thought and the mind element. There is nothing on the surface of the earth which you cannot achieve. Achievements of all kinds are the diadem of result and the crown of thought. Dear friends, you will find a lot of people, they really blame everyone for their conditions in life. But I tell you, a man is literally what he thinks. His conditions, circumstances, destiny, fate, all are governed by, by his thinking. As he thinks, so he remains. By lifting up his thoughts to a different level, with self-control, resolution, righteousness, well-directed thought with a definite purpose, and persevering, persisting patiently, willing, desiring, with consuming obsession, willing to win or perish, victory or death, do or die attitude. There is nothing which can prevent him from becoming a person of his dream. The vision that he glorify in his mind and the ideals which he enthroned in his heart, this he will make his life by or this he will become. But most of the time it is very sorry to share with you all that a man achieves and all that he fails to achieve is the direct result of his own thoughts. A man's weakness and strength Purity and impurity are his own and not another man's. They are brought about by himself and not by another. And he can only be altered by himself, never by another. His conditions are also his own and not another man's. His suffering and his happiness are evolved within himself. As he thinks, so is he. And as he continues to think, so he remains. Then I remember one of the wonderful discoveries of William James, the greatest thinker, philosopher of America, who said, this is the greatest discovery in the Vincent Faber generation. Just by altering the thoughts, a man can alter his life, his fate, his destiny. Because man being master of his thought, the commander of his life, the shaper and the creator of his situations, conditions, destiny, everything. Dear friends, take the full responsibility of your life. Dream, lot of dreams, and as you dream, so shall you become one day. Here I am in sitting in a garden of 100 acres. These are all because of my dreams. I may not have the ownership, but I am the man who is using this hundreds of acres of the wonderful nature just by my dream and desire to be aligning my forces with the natural laws. You two viewers can dream, can have a vision, can have your ideals, your prophecy. That's why I inspire you. Cherish your vision, cherish your ideal, cherish the music that vibrates in your heart and the loveliness that drives in your mind. And if you are really willing from the core of your heart, then all the beautiful conditions, environment will be created just by your believing and with your deep-rooted willpower and consuming obsession. That magical achievements you will have in your life. That's why so many people become so great. Because the intelligent substance, that is the power of your mind, whatever it conceives and believes, you can really achieve it. But if you have to think that you can do it, the believing becomes the most important factor. So dear friends, what I suggest to you, 
define your goal where you are going definite purpose be very definite and be very single minded with a perfect plan of action don't have so many diversified ideas then you can never be successful your scattering of thoughts will make you mediocre and you will be nothing more than the most miserable creature on earth only one goal unidirectional one point at a time then work very hard seek the advice of some great people there are a lot more great people who will help you they enjoy helping this is not a burden on them they think their life is meant to support others to give some kind of ideas to give some kind of monetary help thank you the bottom line don't play blame game you are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul by virtue of your thought you are what you are today you can rise to the lofty position and you can sink to the bottom of the bestial animality thank you viewers this is fakir yogi vrend yogi on vrend radhi at